Today guys, we are going to take out all the dead corals from my tank. Welcome back to the channel guys, this is Paul and my focus today is to go through and we're gonna break down all the dead corals, all the dead skeletons to make room for new corals and new growth. First off, I got my trusty old bucket here and I'm gonna collect as much as I can so I can dump them out. I got towels just in case I make a mess. I got my towel here and I got a little stepping stool here and I'm gonna go grab some tools so I have something to cut with. This is the bone cutter I'm using right here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Bone cutter and gloves. All right, so here's the side of my tank. This is what I wanna focus on right now and that is I wanna get all of this out of here. This is all dead corals and that way there'll be better flow and circulation in this area and hopefully I can get a few more corals to put in the backside so that it can start growing. So the goal for today is try to get that piece out and then also all the other little dead pieces within the tank. Wow. I almost don't want to throw this all out because there are just so many brittle stars in here. Wow, that's crazy. They're everywhere in here. Wow, they're loaded. They're just everywhere. They're just hanging out. And, you know, I think they're beneficial for the tank, but my, um, my little puffer actually eats them. So that's why I have them around. They're just great little critters. Unfortunately, I don't know how I'm gonna get them all out because I would like them to stay in the tank. I have to put it down here for now. Wow, finally, able to get this piece out right here, guys. The right twist and movement, I was able to break this piece free right here. Look at this, one massive piece right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. One massive piece out of the tank. Unfortunately, it died in here. So I don't know if it's coming through or not, but one massive big piece came off all together. Unfortunately, the critters are gonna die because I am not gonna go through this whole thing. But unfortunately, this is the piece that died and it's gotta come out now. So I think most of it is out of the tank now. First time in a while that I get to see some light in here in the backside which is pretty cool. There's just a lot of dead corals in here. So I gotta go in here and clean this up a bit. More dead corals. Was a beautiful green slimer. This is a green slimer that was in the back. Fortunately, it's dead now. There's another one back here. Guys, my five gallon bucket is filled up right now. Got no more room for this stuff. All right, I don't know if this is mating season, but I see a whole bunch of these brittle stars just hanging out together. And I didn't want them to die, so I figure 
I will get them as much as I can back into the tank to help preserve them and also to be food for my little puffer. Look at all the corals I collected so far. This is five gallons worth of corals. That is crazy. And I'm just going through and taking out the ones that I don't think I need. So right now the tank is a mess, but I'm going through and I might as well just start knocking them down. Dead corals. It's a big piece right here, Monopora. All right, good news. I got all of these out from the tank. This is five gallons worth. A little more than five gallons, but that's a lot of dead corals. Unfortunately, the tank looks really, really bare and cloudy right now. So it's gonna take a few hours to clear up. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go through and try to blow some of the sand and dirt off the top of the corals. But for now, it looks really nasty. So my objective today was to clear this piece out especially and I I think that is a success because I haven't seen light hit this backside here for about two years now. So it's looking a little better now. It's got room for more corals to be planted back here and hopefully more growth in the future. Half of the red plant here, I think, is dead. It's got the puffer roaming around checking out the new spot here that I've cleared out for him. Unfortunately, there's going to be less hiding spots for the chromies, but I'm sure they'll figure something out. I mean, there's other hiding spots in here. Coral still looks okay, even with the disturbance, but I'm going to go ahead and just blow through here with the pump to get all these web out of the way and to kind of clean up the corals a bit and then let the filtration do its thing. All right, so it's the next day. We're going to take a closer look and how the tank looks like now with all the dead corals taken out, or at least most of them. All right, here's a closer look at the tank. And we started off over here yesterday. And I went through and took out this whole coil here that was reaching to the top of the water line. And now it's just pretty much cleaned out all the way down to the bottom. I got as much as I can. Now we're getting light back to this area. So this is probably going to be the area where I could plant new corals for new growth. So it's pretty bare back here. Went around and did the same thing all the way around the tank and took out some of the dead monies and some of the other dead bird nests that were floating around the bottom of the tank. So it's gotten much cleaner now. And if we look at the top here, it just looks so much more open now with that dead coral taken out. So this is new beginnings. I'm gonna have to figure out what I wanna plant back there and then give it time to grow again. So this is where it's gonna sit for a while and we're gonna just try to slowly fill it back up and hopefully we'll get some good growth again. And all the way in the back here, we have some eggs. These are the clown eggs and they've been laying eggs is about every two to three weeks. So this is the batch there. And just like every other batch, this one's probably not gonna make it because I have no way of taking them out. So they're just gonna stay there, do their thing. They're gonna get released get eaten or die and then the cycle starts all over again 
All right, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you for stopping by. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop it down in the comment section below. Again, guys, if you appreciate the video, feel free to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.